Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you what to do if you encounter the following error message after installing Adobe Premiere Pro. The code execution cannot proceed because VC runtime 104 underscore one dot DLL was not found. There might be some other messages with other DLL files not found. So today I'll show you how to fix them. So let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting videos. Also, if this video will help you and if you like it, please support it with your like. And if you will still have some questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. This issue typically occurs when certain DLL files are missing from your computer. This can happen for various reasons, which we won't cover in this video to keep it concise. Usually it happens when you just installed Windows and there are some files missing. The simplest way to resolve it is by downloading all missing files at once. To do this, open any web browser and search for Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. Choose the page related to the Microsoft website where you can find the latest supported downloads. There are different versions available and most likely you'll need the latest one. Depending on your computer, you can select either a 64-bit or a 32-bit version. If your computer is running on ARM architecture, choose the corresponding option. In my case, I'm using a 64-bit Windows 10 operating system, so I'll select the x64 download. Once the file is downloaded, run it by clicking on it, then you need to agree to the license terms and click install. After completing this step, you can close the installer. Now let's try to start Adobe Premiere. There you go, it has successfully launched. However, you might still receive a warning message, but it's unrelated to the issue we just fixed. It's informing you that there is an unsupported video driver for the graphics card, which needs to be updated. But that's a topic for another video. Just click continue and voila, Adobe Premiere Pro is up and running. Here's one more tip, if for some reason it still doesn't work, try downloading and installing the x86 file as well, even if you're running a 64-bit operating system. This can be helpful. I encountered this issue when installing an older Premiere Pro 2020 version, which wouldn't install until I added the Visual Studio x86 file. So yeah, this is it guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it and it's helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss new upcoming videos. And if you have any comments or questions, drop them down in the comment section below. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.